I'm bring to Haiti, but I got that ass heat for you, tell it see y'all. Will you do a shot with me, please? Come on, y'all. Shoot him up if you got him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hi, 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 you doing? <laughs> a few of you have written the ass. How do I knock that early morning chill off my shit seat? You can buy a toilet seat warmer like one of these on the internet for hundreds of dollars. Some of them are electrical. What dumb dick puts electricity and water into an equation with your pecker? Oh, I got a simple idea for the cold toilet seat. I'm on it, y'all. Pick up a 3-8 splitter for your hot water supply line. I'm routing mine to a standard hose bib valve mounted on this diamond plate. You'll need a 3-8 to half inch flex line to connect the hose bib. We're going to use this washer supply line with garden hose fittings to connect your hose bib to your toilet seat. Copper coal and a wooden toilet seat. We're going to ride it up, man. You got to cut a groove in your toilet seat to get that heat coming up through it. Right here, we got a 3-8 inch router bit for a 3-8 inch copper tubing. That's going to transfer your heat nice. Don't fuck around with your router without your safety glasses. <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> Gently tap in your copper line and cut you some metal straps to hold it in place. Under your sink, attach your line splitter and your new supply line. Use a hole cutter and attach your hose bib and diamond plate. Ah, and let's get fucking serious about this shit, y'all. Pull that son of a bitch off. Boom, right there. There's our copper line heat to the ass. Let's go ahead and hook up our new seat. Oh, I am not unfamiliar with this position right here. Go ahead and hook it up right here to our new valve. Tight. She's good. All right, to put on your compression fitting for your supply line, you're going to need a little cutter like this right here. Copper cutter. You can pick one of these up for like seven bucks, man. You ain't got to be a goddamn plumber to do this, all right? All right, now that I got it all tightened up, let's check our flow. Nice, I like it. Hell yeah, that's the hot water. I'm gonna heat that up nice and cold. It's gonna be good if you go on too. I can take a little fucking hot nap right there. Ah. <laughs> but this copper coming so close to your nuts, taints, and ass, uh, not good. I'm gonna have to torque that down a little bit. Don't want to fuck up my wood. This thing will crack on me. So I'm gonna clamp that fucker tight, all right? And I'm going to take me something around, jam it up in there, because that copper will kink on you now. And just get it down there. Slowly work it down. All right, once you get that shit bent down away from your butthole, now you're ready to go, man. I got mine pointed right at my shit spot. The same spot that stains every fucking day. Boom, now I've got it. And this is how it works. Comes in, goes all the way around, and comes right out here. Blasting that fucking pain in the ass shit spot right there. You can crank it way the fuck up, man. Comes right out of there. Fucking multifunctional, man. Heating, cleaning. This is perfect for the hunting camp, man. No more cold morning shit. It's like a fucking meditation spot, man. You don't even need a fountain. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. Peaceful. <laughs> hey y'all, for one week only, the sober team's got some coupon codes on the Facebook page. Fuck yeah, man. Hook yourself up a hat or a tea on discount. The Tramp Stamp Contest is rolling, y'all. 
Thanks for the submissions. You gonna get to vote for your favorite on December 12th. Keep them coming, y'all. This week's song is kooky. I like it. It's about the length of a solid bowl rip. Comes to us from Shane in Garner, North Carolina. Take it away, Shane. We scared we Thanks, Shane. I love it. I'll see y'all next Friday. I got shit to do. <laughs> 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 <laughs>